hello hello welcome to my channel so today we are going to talk about another video which is going to be about excel or csv automation so in this video we are going to talk about how can we add a new row at the end of an excel or csv using pandas so this video is specifically going to be about pandas and i have talked about open by excel in my previous videos so if you are looking for that framework then you can check out those videos you can just search them on my channel to use pandas basically we need to install pandas and to install pandas we just have to execute this command pip install pandas so this is it what we have to do to install pandas now we are ready to use it so let's see what we have and what we have to do first so i have this test.excel file with me and as you can see here i have 11 rows of data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this 11th row of data and then i will try to add it using pandas library so let's first delete this save this and let's just cross check this one more time so i can see that there are only 10 rows of data now and we need the 11th row now so uh, as i said before we are going to use pandas here so let's first import pandas now what we have to do is we have to create a new row right so i will be creating a new object for this this is going to be something like this so now opening the excel file one more time i need these many columns a b c d e f g right so i need first name last name gender country age date id and i need them in the same order so i will be creating my data object in the same order so let's do first name last name gender country age date and last is your id all right now we need the data so here i can either add a single row of data or i can add multiple rows of data as well so let's first start with only one row of data so i would choose my name here so let's do prashant and sharma then country is going to be india and this is gender so male age would be 28 date would be let's go by today's date so it's 21.05.23 and let's do 1111 right so this is our row data now we have to create a data frame for this row so we will use df equals to pd dot data frame method and we will pass the row object here all right now what do we need we need to read the excel file so we will use read excel method here and then we will provide the path where our excel file is so for me it is c temp and then the file name with the extension so i'm going to do this in a variable then i need a writer so that i can write the data so now i would need pd dot excel writer again i would provide the path c temp test.xlsx then mode which would be append 
and then lastly a check if sheet exists then overlay this we can remove it's just to ensure now I would convert my data frame to Excel using the Excel writer so this is going to be writer index we don't need any indexing here so this would be false we don't need header header as well so false lastly we need where actually we want to insert the data so a start row would be end of the row so let's calculate the length first as in the size and then we would do plus one all right good enough now let's close the writer and then lastly we would print done just to signify that the operation is completed now let's execute this but first let's close this all right so this is done so as we can see here we have the 11th row now with the respective data so let's add a few more rows using the data frame so right now we have this detail with us so let's delete this one more time and let's add it along with other new details so let's save this close this now let's append more data so let's add John Doe here let's do unspecified country let's say unknown age would be let's say 99 and let's put the same date of today and ID would be let's say 0000 and we don't need to change any of the code here so let's just execute this wait for it it's done open the excel file and I can see the second row as well so as I put 0000, 000 it's going to be 0 obviously but we got the data and similarly you can add either one or more than one rows of data using this code so i hope this is clear this part is uh, easy enough if not you can ask your questions on the comment section and this is it for this video i hope that we will meet in some another video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye